everyone, my name is Will. Welcome to Room of Goods. So I've been playing around with the HP Verb G2 virtual home called Cliff House, which is where I landed when I first hooked up the headset to the PC. Now there are some things you can do within this virtual space, like interacting with your environment or watching videos. But the most interesting part for me is accessing the Steam VR games and the Oculus Rift library. So if you're curious how to set this all up, let's quickly go through all the steps. So currently I'm in the Clef House. Now, like I said, you can do different things in this space like opening certain experiences up. And there are some games within this environment that you can play with, but personally, I don't find it too engaging. But one of my favorite things that you can do here is customize your space. Now, as you can see, I created a wall of Steam VR games that I brought into the space without actually going into the Steam VR home. So from the space, you just have to push the button on the game that you wanna play and it will launch from here. But you can also create a Steam VR button where you can easily jump into the Steam home where you can actually access those games from there as well. And you can actually access your Oculus Rift games that you have downloaded onto your PC. Now, how do we do all this? And it's actually not a complicated setup. So we're gonna have to download some apps to set this up. So let's quickly go through the steps. Step number one, PC updates. From your PC, check your system if you're on the latest Windows 10 update. Now, in order to do this, go to the start button, type in settings in the text box to open the settings app, and then click on the update and security. And go ahead and click on check for updates to see if any updates are available. If you have any updates, it will install automatically, but you may have to restart the PC to finish the updates. Step number two, installing the Steam app on your PC. If you already have the Steam app and the Steam VR application installed, go ahead and skip to the next step. Otherwise, go to the Steam page to install the Steam application. Once you're on the Steam page, then go ahead and click on the install button and follow the on-screen instructions. After it's installed, open up the Steam application library and under the tools, find Steam VR. If you don't see it, check the tools filter box. You can either scroll down to find it or type it in a text field. Once you find it, do a right click from your mouse and go ahead and click on install Steam VR. But since I already installed mine, it's gonna label the button as launch instead of install. Step number three, now we're gonna have to download the window mixed reality for the Steam VR app from the store that basically becomes the bridge to your Steam VR games. So click on the store button and you can look it up by typing in the window mixed reality. Once you're on the page, click the free button and then click on next to download. So once that's set up, move on to step four, downloading the Oculus app onto your desktop. So go on oculus.com slash setup and scroll down and click on the download software and follow the on-screen instructions. When you're done, go to step number five. We just need to download a tool called Revive to connect to your Oculus Rift library. You can either Google install Revive or you can use the link down in the description. So the current version is 2.1. Just click on reviveinstaller.exe and start the download and setup process. Once you're done downloading, this window will pop up and it will show what you have downloaded from the Oculus Rift library. So just be sure you have some games populated into your library. And that's pretty much it in terms of downloading. Now just plug in the HP Reverb G2 headset to your PC and it should trigger the window mixed reality portal and now we're back into Cliff House. Now as you can see I already have some Steam VR games already set up on the wall but I'm going to show you how to place these buttons on the wall or anywhere in the environment. From your motion controllers press the window icon button and this menu should pop up. Then click on all apps. Then scroll down and look for VR games that you have installed from the Steam library. So I'm going to choose Rec Room. Then you'll see the button appear and now we can put it on the wall or anywhere else you like. And plus you can actually scale the button up or down. Once you place it where you like, just simply press the button to enter the game. Now in order to go back to the cliff house, we just have to bring up the menu by again pressing the window icon from your controllers and pressing the house icon. Now in order to access your Oculus Rift library, you need to go to the Steam VR home. So I already created the button here by performing the same steps earlier. So let's click on the Steam Home button and then press the menu button on the motion controllers and you'll see this window pop up. And then on the bottom, click on the revive button and now you can actually view your Oculus Rift games here. Just click on one of the games and now we have access to playing an Oculus exclusive game. So that's it guys, that's how we get access to both the Steam VR and the Oculus Rift library. Hopefully you find that helpful. As always, if you like the video, press the like button and consider subscribing. Talk to y'all later.